traffic stops only calls for service. In other words, it's Autobahn hour. So, I mean, I made good time, but what is it? I'm sure regular size route would be on its way out when it's <laughs> But I got the house fire earlier. Yeah. Put it out, Dad. Oh my, okay, I don't need a PIO. <laughs> I know how the fire started. Cancel the fire investigators. I got it. <laughs> no, I was, I was, I was like, man, cause I... Let's start with your name, first and last rank. Oh, yeah. Sergeant Tommy Hale, 2042, Surprise Police Department. Spell both Tommy and Hale, just we have the correct spelling. Last name spelling is H-A-L-E, first name spelling is T-O-M-M-Y. And Sergeant, correct? Yes. Okay, uh, just to describe the situation, what happened out here earlier this evening. Well, uh, last evening, yep. now, at approximately 1027, a uh, 911 call was received by the Surprise Police Department for shots fired at an address over here on Carlin. Officers arrived and uh, immediately identified that there were several individuals here who had received uh, various injuries. Um, at that time, officers secured the scene, uh, made sure that the area was safe and uh, there was no outstanding threat to the community. Um, I can confirm at this time, as a result of this uh, altercation which seems to be an altercation between individuals we don't know how that started yet we're still in the midst of our investigation however i can confirm that at least one individual is deceased how many total were shot we have multiple injuries at this time okay uh so more than the one deceased but fewer than what 10. so i, I don't know that exact okay. number I do know that there are several people with injuries and they've been transported to various hospitals for medical attention. Can gotcha. you break down the male, female children? I don't, I don't have any information on juveniles or gender at this time. You said it took place, did it up, take place outside or inside the home? So our criminal investigations division is on scene right now and they're trying to determine exactly what occurred. Uh, but uh, so we don't know exactly what took place in the residence or on about the property of the residence. Any suspects still at large? Um, any firearms recovered? No, we believe that everyone involved has been accounted for and there's absolutely no threat to the community that we're aware of at this time. Anyone under arrest or in custody at this point? Everyone involved has been accounted for. You said there was some sort of argument? Is it between neighbor, neighbor and neighbor? We don't necessarily know if it was an, an argument. We knew there was some type of altercation that occurred uh, that involved people that knew each other. In the neighborhood? I'm not aware of where they resided. I just know that there's, our inf at least preliminary information leads us to believe that all those involved knew each other to is, some degree. Is there a history of problems with these two uh, parties? I'm not aware of any uh, of any history with the party involved. Any concern with other neighbors as far as shots ringing out? Or was it all contained to one small area where there concerns about the other parts of the area? Thank you. So our, our criminal investigations division is trying to determine that now. They're interviewing multiple different people, uh, ranging from people who may have heard something or seen something, and that takes a lot of time for them to parse through all that to determine exactly when it occurred and how it exactly occurred and where. And were there any earlier calls this evening for calls of service out here with disruption or argument or anything like that? I'm not aware of any earlier calls. Okay. Individuals, would you say they're all adults or are there any juveniles or, or teenagers or Sure. I, I don't know if there are juveniles involved at this point. Uh, 
the, the ages and genders and like I spoke about before uh, haven't been identified at this time. The one deceased is it male or female? That I do not know, sir. Uh, how, how, how long will the investigation be? Is it going to be an extensive? This will be an extensive investigation, yes, to make sure we get to the bottom of what occurred. You're not only asked to do interviews with neighbors, you're looking at security cameras that can enable it as a possibility? Sure, absolutely. We want, we want to make sure that we're looking at all angles here, whether that be physical security, uh, audio, visual, witnesses, uh, any of those types of things. Anything else that we didn't ask, that we, any other information you could share with us? Well, I'd just like to add that if there's anyone out there that has any information, they can assist us with identifying what happened tonight. Uh, to please uh, give us a call at Surprise Police Department, 623-222-TIPS, or on our regular line, 623-222-4000 at the Surprise Police Department for any information. When you say 